Hi YouTube. <clears throat> um, well, finally getting out into the woods today. Um, it's been a long time actually, and uh, no real excuses to be honest. Just that I've been away working a lot, um, well every week, you know, whereas I used to um, work for kind of 10 days and then be off for 9 or 10 days. It's changed now and I have to go to work every week. I mean, how rubbish is that? Um, but anyway, I have to go to work every week, which means weekends are kind of precious. You know, you have to do other stuff. Um, when I mean, you've got a house and a wife and, and cats. Uh, so I haven't had a chance really to do a lot. And um, when I have had time, I just haven't had the inclination, to be honest. But today I'm heading to Brat Fallet. Um, which is one of my favourite spots. It's a um, waterfall which I've been to many, many times and I've filmed there quite a lot. Um, and the reason I'm heading to Brat Fallet is because I need to get to Musnia. Um, so let me park up and I'll explain more. Hi oh, guys, well, <clears throat> spring has kind of sprung. Um, we've still got a bit of snow up here, um, but it is melting quite quickly. Um, but a couple of facts for you. This, um, the road behind me that I drove up here on was built in the 20s um, before it was pretty much roadless up here um, and they were the last of their kind, the last of their generation um, to be built by hand using picks and hoes and shovels and 700 men apparently built the road that I've just driven on um, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it sounds like the river is thundering down here because of all the meltwater. I hope you can hear me. Um, yeah, that's pretty impressive. I'll turn you around. Now, like I say, I've filmed this before, um, and I have a plan to bring my drone up um, and, and fly it up the gorge. So starting from the bridge, my plan is to take it down the, downstream slightly and then under the bridge and then up the gorge. Um, because around that corner up there, it turns around to the right up there and um, that's where the main waterfall is, which I'll take a walk up to see now, which means going back that way. Okay? Um, now, like I said, I haven't been out in um, a long time. Um, I just haven't had the inclination. I just I don't know what it is. And, and I've noticed, actually, um, it seems to be across the board. It's not just me. It seems like everybody, um, or certainly the people I follow, um, really have slowed down on the content. Um, and I don't know why. Because, you know... A lot of my sort of subscribers and people I subscribe to um, put out awesome videos. The only one I think has been consistent in his videos um, is Simon, a bloke in the woods. And um, as per normal, his videos are like, you know, Hollywood movies. <laughs> I'm really jealous of his editing skills. Um, he really puts a lot of effort into it. Um, but. As far as I can see, a lot, of, a lot of other people just haven't been doing much, and I'm the same, I'm as bad. Um, you know, I, whether it's just people working more, or, or I don't know, I have no idea. Um, political uncertainty, maybe, uh, for a lot of people, both in the UK and in the States. Uh, yeah, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, put some more videos out, you lot. Um, need stuff to watch when I'm at work. But <laughs> I'm out and about today anyway to pick up some Usnia uh, lichen, um, old man's beard, you know, the layman term. And for a very specific reason. Um, now, I've done quite a lot of research into Usnia, um, and, and there's been a lot of scientific studies, there's a lot to read online regarding the lichen um, and it's all positive basically as for, for certain health benefits um, now the reason I'm getting it is my second oldest cat 
uh, Minky, she's 15, um, has been diagnosed with terminal cancer. And I'm really upset about it, as is my wife. And um, yeah, it's rubbish. You know, for, for, you know, if you're someone like me that has had cats all their lives, or dogs, you know, all the same. Um, and especially for that amount of time, um, you know, and she's been through a lot. She, she came here um, to Sweden with us in the RV and, you know, she's been into the Arctic Circle. Um, she's well travelled, but yeah, she, so poor little girl's got cancer now. Um, that's not doing... She's, she's okay, but she's untreatable. Um, and she's got a kind of tumorous welt thing on her nose, on her foot. Um, and uh, it's called lung digit cancer. Um, yeah, so it's rubbish. But anyway, the Usnia, um I've looked into it and, and it shows promising signs to alleviate cancer cells, if that makes sense. Um, it doesn't stop cancer, it's not a cure for cancer or anything, or not that I'm aware of. But they've done studies and it's shown to to almost break down um, the DNA in a cancer cell, whatever's in it. So, you know, we, we've, I'm, going, I'm willing to try anything. Um, so we're going to make a tincture out of it, um, apply it to the wound, because I used it on my shin. And if you remember, if you look back in my videos, you'll see that I, um, I had a problem with uh, eczema, almost, on my shin um, and on my chest. I got it as well. I think it was a stress-related thing, maybe. But um, anyway, I used Usnia for two weeks, I think it was. Or was it weeks? I can't remember. Anyway, I used it on my shin and my chest. Um, and my shin and my chest cleared up completely and I've no, had no problems since and I have been stressed for obvious reasons and I've had nothing so I'm hopeful that it'll, it'll at least help her slightly um, and it certainly won't hurt her because there's nothing in it that can hurt her so all you uh, animal lovers don't panic you know this is not some weird chemical rubbish this is nature and it's safe um, it'll either work or it won't so anyway, this is old man's beard here. There you go, there's some, and it's all over. Now, the good thing is, or the main thing, I sh sorry I should say, is to make sure you're well away from any major source of pollution, because it does absorb heavy metal in the air. Um, now, I am well away from anything. Um, I'm by the river, so there's a constant breeze, and it's, yeah, it's perfect. So I'm gonna collect as much of this as I can find. Um, being careful not to overdo it on one particular thing, big tree, because you know they, they're symbiont and they need each other. So anyway, let's head up here, and uh, I'll show you the waterfall as well. Uh, pretty awesome. Coming down. Believe it or not, they used to um, float logs about this thing. Those crazy sheets. Anyway, let's head up here, see what we can find. Some more there. Careful I don't fall down the hill. Yeah, we, we have to try something else um, because we can't have my little girl suffering, it's not on. Um, and I'm sure you'd all be the same. She's like a child to me, like my daughter. Right, there's something here. The thing I don't want to do is pick up too much add-ons like bark and crud. Um, shouldn't take long to fill my bag up. And that's the good thing, I can just come out and get more if I run out. 
head in here. I'm desperately hoping that Rob is going to make it up this year. Um, we've been talking and we're hoping that um, the first first week of sorry about the shaky camera work I'm trying to pick like and um, the first week of September is going to be our annual adventure um, I know he's really really busy um, at work as we all are um, so finding the time is always difficult yay Steve's back uh, anyway let's head up I'm hoping there's no one here today. I like. I always get a little bit paranoid when I'm talking to the camera and there's, you know, people. I feel a bit of an idiot, to be honest. Um, let's have a walk. So there's plenty around, which is nice. And, uh, forest is looking its usual loveliness. I haven't been up here for, must be, it's got to be a year, maybe longer. No, it must be a year, I think I came up here with Rob last year. Or was that year before, I can't remember. I can't remember. It's actually awesome. I'm going to turn you around because I'm sure my face isn't the most exciting to watch. See, it's just thundering down there. And then this is this is the gorge. Being careful not to fall to my death. Um, and we're about I would say 10 metres, I think, I would say, above that river. This is quite a good place to demonstrate the canoeing um, thing. If you were paddling down here, which, you know, I'm sure some lunatic has probably done in the past, but if you look there, those white caps is where rocks are under the water. And the V in the middle is the deep water channel. So if you were canoeing down there, you would aim for that V. And then you'd float straight through. And then down there again, there's another V, and you'd float down that one. And then beyond that you probably drown. <laughs> it stops great. Right, let's head up here. But this is what I love, look. Health and safety. Yeah, come on, bring your kids. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. They'll be fine. <laughs> hmm. If this if the, if this was anywhere else, there'd be um the massive walls up and barriers and signs saying don't go near the edge. All right, here's a ton of usnia, which is cool. There we go. Look at this. That's a monster lump. Imagine that. Oh, imagine that. Pick out the cruddy bits. I hope you can hear me because this river's well loud. Yeah, uh, that was a nice big lump. I love. It's all a bit high. Some of this for me. <laughs> I've only got little legs. quite a bit of this one because there's tons on this tree. It looks really fresh and healthy. Nice big bunch there isn't it? Okay carry on. Next tree, let's find some more. As we round this bend here there's some snow here. A bit more. Um, just around that corner there, there's a uh, is where the main drop is. And the good thing is I can't see anybody at the camping 
the, the um, coffee spot. There's a little place up here which we'll come to in a minute. We table and chairs and stuff. Um, I can't see anybody, which is nice. Things have got it all to myself. Quite nice today as well, it's not cold. Um, we had snow recently. It started snowing again and it was which was disappointing because we kind of had enough of the snow now. And we need spring. Well, I think spring has sprung, which is good. There's plenty on this tree. Quite a bit. Um, yeah, we had more snow. So, oh, here we go again. But it, it went again, which is nice. And I think it's definitely warmed up now. I mean, it's nine. I think it was nine degrees when I got up this morning. Um, and I think it's meant to stay that way really for a while. I'll just bend this camera down. Um, I did think about bringing my 360 camera, but I think I'm going to reserve that mainly for the drone. Um, and the canoeing. I think, you know, not many people are really into that yet and, and it can be a little bit off-putting to watch if you're not used to it. Um, just scouting for some more lichen. Ooh. It's nice to get some fresh air as well. Yeah, that's thundering down there. I'll take you right to the edge because it's a really good view from the little coffee place. Coffee stop. Spin you around again. It's quite amazing this like, and um, it's my new bestest buddy at the moment. Seems to be a, like a do it all drug. Nature's drug. It's got that real stagnant water smell at the moment where it's the melt waters. Which is awesome. Check this out guys. I'm gonna keep the page pointing that way. Prolong the suspense. monster chunk of ice up the top. Uh, you can see, you'll probably see it right in the middle of the screen now there. It's pretty cool. I've got a small scratch on the lens on this camera because just, just like a funny spot. Yeah, I think so. That's annoying. Let's see if I can get a new new lens. Right guys, I'm gonna head off and, and get lots of usnia. I really need to get back in start administering it, um, getting it prepared. So um, I'll let you know how it goes. Um, I have every faith it will certainly help, it won't hurt us so, you know, and, and let's be honest the prognosis is it's not great so um, yeah to use a phrase that I would normally is kill or cure isn't it? You know she'll either be more comfortable um, because the vets can't really do anything so and they certainly wouldn't try this. Guys, 
Uh, well, I think I'm pretty much done. Um, my plan really is to is to pick it every week um, so that it doesn't lose any of its qualities. I don't know if it breaks down like that. I imagine it would, being organic. Um, so I've got a fair chunk, a fair bunch of it in here in my bag. Like a, should be enough for a week. Um, like I say, it's, it's really to wash the sores, um, the one on the nose especially, because that's really bothering her. And um, yeah, I think that would be good for her. And uh, well, I'll report back if it's worked or not. Anyway, I'm going to head home, so I'll see you later, guys.